is up and what is popping y'all welcome to another maintenance video y'all loved my last maintenance video so i was like we might as well run it back every two weeks i just feel the dire need to literally do every type of beauty maintenance i possibly can on myself and i'm just excited that i'm doing it on myself and that i am not wasting so many coins going out and getting my lashes and my nails and my hair and my facial like all that is so much money it can be saving your coins if you just do it at home girl youtube university is here to help you and i'm so excited to show you guys how i achieved all of this because baby we really got into it today now you know how important it is to keep up on your maintenance on the outside but it's also so important to make sure you're taking care of your inside as well which is why i love my care of vitamins baby if you want convenience get with care of i love that these are delivered right to my door on a monthly basis and they are customized for me specifically so care of is a subscription service where they ship your vitamins right to your door and like i said they are personalized to you so you just take a really easy online quiz they'll ask you all different types of questions to understand your needs and what goals you have for your health and they curate the perfect vitamin pack for you one of my goals is to work on my gut health like i'm trying to be a real baddie with my healthy gut and care of is helping me do exactly that with their digestive enzyme supplement and the probiotic blend give me all the probiotics please and thank you i also love how cute this packaging is it says my name on it and it really makes me want to take these vitamins every single day care of wants you to show yourself more love this month by allowing yourself to feel more confident energetic and balanced take care of you with care of for 50 percent off your first care of order go to takecareof.com and enter code maya pg50 you do not want to miss out girl make sure to tap in now let's get right into this main routine here we are again <laughs> another trip to the bathroom if you will i literally look crazy i have throw up on me i'm just not together at the moment but it's okay because that's the whole point of this video you guys know last time we we did it you know we came we saw we conquered i didn't think that i could do all my maintenance at home but i proved myself otherwise so Let's run it again, run the track again, cause we're in dire need of help beyond help, okay? I think the first thing we're going to knock out is some laser hair removal. I haven't done laser on my armpits in so long, so I wanna do my laser. We're gonna get into another facial. This one's gonna be focusing on like hydrating my skin so I can have really glowy skin. We are gonna knock out some lashes. Um, I am gonna blow out my hair. I'm not gonna wash my hair because I just got it done a few days ago, but I am gonna blow it out so it's not in this raggedy gray. And we're just gonna do some like treatments. Basically, girl, I'm just looking a hot mess. So let's just get ourselves together. So y'all know me, like if I could save a coin here and there, I'm saving a coin. I'm about to do my own laser hair removal. Laser hair removal is literally thousands of dollars. Who is paying for it? That not me. No. So here's what I do for my laser. You basically want to shave whatever surface you're about to do the treatment on. I'm doing my armpits. That's really all I do because I barely get hair on my legs and I get Brazilian waxes. So that takes care of that. It's the fact that I don't breastfeed anymore yet I still will wear my nursing bras because they're the most comfortable things. Okay, so watch. Here's all you do, girl. You have to work up your pain tolerance level. So I put it at like a level three because I've done it for some weeks now. And then you just hit it with it. Make sure it's pressed all the way on your skin or else it won't flash. And that's how you know it's not placed properly. That was super quick, super easy. And now we can be hair free for the rest of the week. So basically you do like six treatments of this. You should see a significant reduction in your hair growth. Okay, so we are in phase two, girl. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know who's making up these prices for estheticians. I'm not saying it's not worth the price. All I'm saying is I'm not paying it. So we're about to do our own at home facial. I do wanna shave my face. Wait, what, what order should I do this in? I was trying to read some of y'all comments telling me what order to do it in and I already forgot. So I think I'm just going to... Hold on. What should I do? 
No, sorry. I'm gonna shave my face right now, so that was pointless. We're gonna see my face and then do the face mask, but first, it's time to shave the face, so okay. You wanna use a really fresh razor. This is not dermablading, this is simply shaving my face. Dermablading, you, you use a different tool. I'm not an esthetician, I don't know how to dermablade, but I do know how to shave the face. I've got my razor and my face oil. Basically what shaving your face does, it just makes your skin look more radiant because you don't have that hair on the surface. And I found that it makes my makeup and my skincare apply so good. So I only do this like once every two weeks. I don't do it weekly or anything like that. So I'm just applying a lot of oil to my face so this can glide. And then y'all told me, pull the skin. So I'm about to pull the skin like y'all said. And we're gonna get into this little shave. Yes. Y'all see a little bit? Definitely not much, but there's like a tiny little bit of residue. Anything up here in these parts? Okay, there's a little bit. Oh, yes. Okay, come on, somebody. Somebody get him. Girl, it's just this little bit right here. So not too much hair on today, but that's okay, baby, because we still gonna look radiant when we do the rest of this facial. We are steaming away. You really just have to put your mind in the environment of relaxation. Like girl, play you some spa music, do whatever you need to do. Because at least I, like my daughter is literally in the next room and there's just no way that I would be able to go around town, book here, book there, lashes, nails, hair. Like there's just, that's just not realistic for, for me anymore. But I do value self care. That's something I love. So I was like, I'm just gonna go on YouTube University and figure it out. Trust me, girl, you can do it. Like, I know we just be wanting to pawn it off on somebody else, but you are very capable of doing your maintenance. It's gonna save you so much money and you're gonna be proud of yourself because you're the one who did it, okay? So for our mask, we're gonna be using the Pacifica Glow Baby Brightening Facial Mask. It says it has vitamin C, aloe, and Kemp. I chose this one because it says Glow Baby and we're trying to glow, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, she's, she's watery for sure. She's a juicy little mask. Okay, is this like one of the ones that you... Oh, I haven't used like a sheet mask in so long. Okay, this is gonna be really nice and cooling. Uh-uh. Oh my gosh, I look scary. Ooh, this is so nice and like cooling. Ooh, yeah. This feels good. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. It's supposed to burn. I'm gonna put the residue excess just on my chest and neck. Always bring your skincare down. You wanna make sure, cause you can always tell somebody's age by their chest. So make sure you are putting your skincare down on your chest as well. If you're trying to look youthful and glowy for the rest of your life. Okay, I look terrifying. So I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and then we'll come back and finish up our facial. And then we're probably gonna do some lashes because I'm looking bald in the face. This mask is sliding off, y'all. I literally brought a chair into my bathroom because, ooh, 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 hold on. Don't absorb too much, so I'm gonna keep that glow going. Yes, my skin looks amazing. Hold on, before I put my skincare on, I did want to try this lip mask. It's supposed to plump and repair. We gonna see. I've tried some lip masks in my past and I don't really think they do too much, but maybe we have high hopes for, for this one. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I don't really know about that, y'all. I left it on for like five minutes. Girl, I don't think it did nothing. <laughs> maybe. Did it plump me up? Am I plump? I'm gonna apply my skincare real quick just to finish off our facial, but I'm trying to make these videos more consistently. Ooh, I will say my face feels really soft. Probably from a mixture of the face mask and shaving my face, but my skin feels really, really good. I need y'all to challenge me on these videos. I wanna start making these consistently. So if you have any type of services you want me to try out, baby, I will do it. Just let me know. I've been obsessed with Korean skincare. This is like the black snail thing that went viral on TikTok. But literally, like if you want your skin to look like a mirror, 
this is the way. I'm making sure to not apply any product near my lash line because I am going to be doing my lashes next. And to be extra to finish our facial, I'm gonna be using these like cooling glass. I don't even know, girl. I thought they would be really relaxing and add that type of like esthetician effect. This feels so good. You wanna make sure there's product on your face though so these can glide, but this can definitely help with like congestion in the face. I already feel, oh, just the relaxation, girl. I could fall asleep. If somebody was doing this to you, that would be bomb. Look, I ain't about to pay nobody no hundred dollars. <laughs> I have always been very self-sufficient, y'all, and it's a blessing and a curse because I be thinking I can do anything, but it's just like, I don't know, the prices of beauty maintenance and the beauty industry in general is just insane these days, y'all. And no shade, no tea to my girls, but it's like, I pay for, I will pay for the experience. Like, I know how to do this stuff, so I'll pay for the experience. And there don't be no experience half the time. You be leaving in tears and like, it's just a lot. At least the experiences I have had with lots of service providers, I've had great experiences, but I've also had very, very questionable ones. I don't think I'm doing this right, y'all, but I'm literally just trying to <sighs> decompress and that's what I'm getting out of this, so. Okay, we're about to get into lashes. I do wanna put on my Laneige mask. I love this mask, it's so hydrating and really leaves your lips feeling so good. Okay, y'all, so now it's time for lashes. I literally have a whole lash bin because I have been doing my lashes consistently for probably like the past six months and I needed a whole, a whole situation, okay? The first thing I do is put on one of my little rings. Now I'm going to keep my glue in here for easy access. I absolutely love these and would recommend 10 out of 10. They work so well with just giving you a quick little boop, boop, boop. You're also gonna need some type of, what is this called? Spoolie, a spoolie. I ordered this off of Amazon for like $4 and it's a hundred of them. So that way we can brush out our lashes once we put them on. These lashes last me about three to six days. Depending on how good I apply them, three to six days. And today I'm gonna to be using the B and Q lash clusters. There's so many different lash clusters you can get on Amazon. I love these because they're the D curl. Now this style is hit or miss because they are kind of like thick and I don't really like a bold lash, but if you don't pl apply a lot of them, it still works. It's just a little questionable. I honestly do not have a lot of the ones that I need left. I usually do like a 10, 10, 12, 12, 14 but I don't have any 10, so I think I'm gonna do an eight, eight, 12, 14, or maybe an eight, 12, 12, 14, 14. I don't know, girl, but I'm gonna take my glue. It looks absolutely insane, so I'm not gonna show you up close, but I will link all of these products down below, and they'll be in my Amazon storefront as well. So I just take my glue like this, and you can just, Scrape some on the side. Here's how she looks. You're gonna wanna get a pair of lash tweezers. They are angled tweezers and they really help with like precise application. I'm gonna take one of my lashes. Here's how they look up close. This is an eight. I'm gonna dip. Here's how we're looking, lash extensions, no extensions. As you can see, we did like a cute little natural. We tried to do a cat eye. I don't know how well it worked out for me. I really do wish I had 10 so I can blend this transition a little bit more, but. Okay, we are all lashed up. I'm gonna bring you guys in close so we can put on our bonder. This is just gonna really secure the lashes and make sure they don't go nowhere. Here's the set up close. I wouldn't say it's my best, but it is still really cute. So I'm gonna take the other side of this stick and just apply it under. So as you can see, I recently did my brows, so there is no need to wax my brows or anything like that. But I think we're going to move on to the nails, girl, cause 
yeah, it's just very suspicious. So let's transition into our nails. Then we're gonna do a quick blowout on the hair and we should be good with our maintenance. I feel and look so much better, girl. We're making progress. Okay, nail time. So we're gonna knock out these nails real quick, okay? So get into it. I'm using the Kiss Bears. These are the same nails I used for my last video. Once I find a color I like, please don't think I'm ever going to switch it up. Like, I am just a basic type of girl. Give me a nude. Give me a pink. I can't do the colors. I'm just scared of them, y'all. I'm sorry. So you want to prep your nails. That is the key to having long-lasting press-ons, girl. Prep your nails. Give them a nice little buff file. Wipe them down with some alcohol. Trim your cuticles. Do all that. Because if you have nice nail beds, they're going to apply so much better. Last you so much longer. And look so much better, girl. Because you don't want to have busted nail beds and cute nails no ma'am pam these nails literally fit my nail beds perfectly you have to make sure you're using the right size you don't want to go too small or too big find the perfect size for your nail apply some glue yes i'm using super glue it's just what i do you don't have to use super glue you can use nail glue but super glue lasts me literally too and then you have to file make sure your shape is on point that's what's going to give it that salon like look and finish it off with a nice coat of some clear polish and girl you got to do the cuticles again put a little cuticle oil on there it's really going to give you like that full treatment your nails are going to look so healthy so bomb i love how these came out gorgeous 10 out of 10 out of 10 my favorite type of nails yeah the nails are done we're gonna do a quick little blowout on this hair i have some tapes in right now they're super long and I am not going to wash my hair because I recently just got these in like four days ago. And I do work out, so they're like a little bit greasy, but not greasy enough to wash. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of dry shampoo at my roots, just so we can start with clean hair. So I'm going to comb through. Always make sure you're starting from end and working up so you don't snag. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some heat protectant. It's very important to apply heat protectant to your hair, especially if you're wearing extensions so they can last much longer. I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair. I am going to focus on doing bigger sections. If you want like a really effortless blowout look, you don't wanna work in small sections, work in bigger sections. I'm gonna look crazy in the process, but just trust it so i'm gonna use a section about this big and take my revlon blow dryer and go through bringing it in a motion that's away from my face just to create like a really nice blowout effect i'm gonna do this all the way around my head and i'll talk to you when we get to the top because it's very important at the top important pieces so the whole thing with blowouts is that super effortless voluminous look so we're going to be curling up and away like this this is just gonna give like a really loose face framing curl and it's just gonna complete the look so I'm gonna do this on both sides a fresh blowout just set with some hairspray nothing too much this is perfect this is like my go-to hairstyle and i think this looks gorgeous ah, i'm so happy it looks so good the nails the hair the lashes everything came out so good so if you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe and share girl you know i got you with another maintenance video in a few weeks because baby hey, we just looking so good and i'm so proud of myself like y'all this is really one of my new year's resolutions and here i am really doing the thing so i love you i appreciate you god bless you and i will see you next video bye